It is now day 20 of Iceland's latest eruption of the Reknes volcano. Because of its unusual longevity, the still ongoing eruption has now surpassed the duration of one of three of Fagradolsviak's recent eruptions, namely the August 2022 eruption which I visited in person 20 months ago. Ever since Easter, the eruptive rate has visually appeared to have decreased. The reason for this, or at least my assertion for this, is that Easter marked the predicted date where the influx of molten rock into the 5 km depth magma chamber partially feeding the ongoing eruption dropped below 3 cubic meters per second. This seemingly arbitrary threshold marks the minimum of fusion rate which once an Icelandic eruption goes below the eruption ends. The reason the eruption has not yet ended is that material still exists in both the magma conduit that heads several kilometers to the east of the magma chamber, alongside magma being utilized in the 15 kilometer long magma dike which was unplaced on November 10th of last year. March 31st just so happened to be the date that the number of erupting vents dropped from 3 to 2, supporting this assertion. It will now only be a matter of time until only the single dominant spatter cone is left erupting, which has grown to a height of 15.67 meters or 51.41 feet and a width of 65.37 meters or 214.46 feet. From this cone, there isn't lava fountaining anymore per se, but instead intermittent rather than continuous ejections of lava fragments which only infrequently rise above its crater rim. In this spatter cone, since there is a pool of lava within it, the molten rock forced its way outwards at the weakest spot in the overall cone, forming a lava flow which drains this crater 6 meters or 19.7 feet to the southwest. Since March 20th, the average lava effusion was measured to be approximately 7.8 cubic meters per second. This means that a total of 31.1 million cubic meters of lava has so far erupted, surpassing the combined total of lava erupted during two of Fagradolsviak's eruptions combined with the January 2024 Reckonis eruption close to Grindavik. No one knows for sure when this eruption will end, but I honestly don't believe it will still be erupting two weeks from now. The eruption is waning, and despite the lava field having not notably expanded in the last week, several things have still occurred. For one, the Melholz mine is now not only completely covered by lava, but covered in basaltic lava flows more than 50 feet thick in certain sections. The existing lava walls towards the east and northeast of Greenavik were successfully increased from 4 to 9 meters in height. There have also been a number of moss fires in recent weeks where heat from the lava flows has ignited thick patches of moss which are several hundred years old and cover the landscape. These have been extinguished via firefighters when and where they pop up. Lava is currently erupting at what I estimate to be around 4.63 cubic meters per second, meaning an additional 400,000 cubic meters of lava is still being emplaced every day. Gas emissions from the eruption are still fairly high, averaging about 3,400 metric tons of sulfur dioxide each day. As a final note, I want to remind everyone that Iceland is still open for business and that the current eruption is not really stopping anyone from visiting major tourist attractions. Tourism due to recent eruptions is down because some people are incorrectly thinking that the entirety of the Reykjanes Peninsula or the entirety of Iceland is affected by the ongoing eruption when it is not. Also, I would like to thank my new patron Russell Chipping for supporting this channel.